Hello there and welcome back to some Crusader Kings 3 as the Magyars, where we left off we declared war on Bulgaria to secure ourselves a new homeland. Hopefully I don't just leave all of this land independent as it seems. Uh, I may have uh, made a little bit of a waste of time going after this war here. And of course if you want to uh, support a channel, this channel has been sponsored by Pax Britannica, a narrative history podcast of the British Empire. Season 2 has just begun as civil war erupts in England. Ireland and Scotland, pitting the forces of Charles I against his own subjects. By the end, Lord Protector Oliver Cromwell will be at the head of a militarised expansionist Commonwealth. If any of that sounds interesting to you, go ahead and check out the links down below. It will take you to Pax Britannica and you can listen in. I personally do listen to their podcast when I'm on long drives or going to bed. I, I do find it very interesting to learn about British history, but I, of course, am myself from Britain, so... Of course, I would find it a little bit more interesting than most other people. But I'm sure you'll enjoy it. Go ahead and check out the podcast down there. Now, we have got our army together. So we'll be merging them up and hopefully not dying of lack of supplies. You can also call in our ally here. He will accept, so we will do so. We can imprison criminals, but we'll ignore that for now. What we're going to go after is all of these lands. I believe the war goal... Does it show my war goal? Can you Pannonia? Pannonia. Okay, all of these lands over here is what we're going to be going after. So let us go and get into this here basin. We'll start with this barony and we'll work our way around getting lots and lots of sieges. Excellent, he has decided to join the war. A camp dispute. After my army sets up camp, I hear commotion coming from my cha champion's lodgings. Investigating the disturbance, I find Kurd and Haskar in the middle of a heated argument, while several unlockers edge them on. I'll uh, deliver a speech about unity to the crowd. I get up and deliver a speech about how we are all fighting for the Magyar Confederation, and how we must stand united against our foes. For if we don't, there are many outsiders who would take advantage of our interests, internal scribbles, and seize our lands to impose their rule on us. Looking abashed, Kurt and Huska apologise and get ready to settle in for the night. We are stronger as one, and we have gained another martial lifestyle trait here. Let's go ahead and uh, not misclick there. Let's go ahead and click on this, and uh, mercenary cost will go down. That could come in handy later on. But for now, we do have quite the army. Anywhere around here fortified, you are. Let's go ahead and take this tribe. We will suffer attrition, but it is. Uh, not a major issue. Excellent, we have taken that land there. It would be nice to take their army. What I'm going to do is split the army here in half. You with all of the knights, you're going to go down this way and attempt to fight their forces. You here, you're going to go and try to take the other tribe here with the Onigas. Excellent, you have engaged them in combat. You should be able to defeat them there. You don't have any knights, but... You don't need them. This force here has the knights, and I'm sure they will need them here a bit more. Excellent, we have won the battle over there. We lost 153 men. We killed 908. What a huge difference. They were slaughtered. The other force down here, though, we are winning as well. And it went gloriously, giving us a lot of war score. And I'm now known for my dedication to my faith. Excellent. We killed 1,410. We lost 171. Who's doing all these kills then? Horse archers, a fair few. Yeah, mainly just the horse archers. All very good. Let's send this force into another tribe. We'll send them over to the tribe of Fehir over this way. Actually, do you count? We'll send them into this tribe here. This might count. And I do want to simply take the war score. Poland has arrived and we have victory in the region. Let's find another tribe. The tribe of Svatmar. No, nope, there's another tribe over there. Send to the tribe over that way. We want to occupy as many of these tribes as we can. So what we're going to do as well is split this army in half. Split it in half. It might make it take a little bit longer in some areas, but the ones with the Onigas will do very well. Excellent, the Polish did win over there. We're going to go after the tribe here. And hopefully have a grand victory. Excellent, you have one. Is there any tribes around here? Yes, there's a tribe all the way over there. Well, let's go ahead and occupy it, shall we? Hey, who's, who's yelling hey? 
Uh, I can declare wars, yes. Prisoners can be ransomed. Duke Radislav. 100 gold. I will ransom you there. I'm going to need a lot of gold to build this kingdom, I'm sure. Next tribe is the tribe all the way over here. Let's go over and deal with it. Uh, yes, quickly. Misclick there. Let's go ahead and secure this land. You there. To the next tribe, please. These tribes are falling very rapidly. I must say I'm quite happy. You'll soon have the war score. It will not take long at all. Excellent. Hunyard. I know about the tribe of Hunyard. Hunyardi is the uh, the leader in the start of Europe Universalis IV. We're a few hundred years behind, but Hunyard is going to be relevant at some point. Let's engage these chaps here in battle as we go to the next tribe. I'm sure we'll be able to win. We have twice numbers. No, we actually missed them. No, oh well. Let's not worry too much about engaging their forces. The Polish will do it for us and gain us most of the war score we require. We'll soon have our peace and then we'll go on our way. 97. 100%. Excellent. We'll be enforcing our demands here. Beautiful. Titles lost. We have lost uh, all of our land over here to the east, including the vassal. But so be it. We have gained all of this land personally. I do not have any vassals at all, it seems. Vassals for? No, I do have a chief. Chief Tomofe here. He's that lord there. We've got the chief of Paval. The chief of over there. The chief of over there. Well, who are these men? Spymaster, vassal, and champion. Uh, chief des... Oh no, you're just a uh, vassal there. You are a uh, my marshal and you are my champion. Well, are you the original houses? Yes, you are. Okay, good. So who took over these lands? Yedisan. A new man has taken him over. Don't you think you're getting off easily? We'll be back for you. Excellent. We'll let us uh, disband all of our forces. We'll uh, deal with them later. So in my personal realm, I would like to have a couple of duchies. There is a duchy over here. We currently hold all of this land, I believe. No, we don't. We don't hold that. Oh, who is your heir? Not me. Okay, what about the duchy over this way? Transylvania. Again, he owns some of that. Um, well, let's try and keep the two duchies down the middle. And give away these other lands. So, you over here do require a lord. Principality of Transparfia. We're going to give that to our son and heir. We'll grant him the titles. Transparfia. I cannot do it. Under partition, your heir cannot be given a title he does not stand to inherit. How does he not stand to inherit this land? Ah, because I have multiple sons. Okay, well, my uh, other sons, let's go ahead and grant you whatever you are in line to inherit. And it looks like the uh, Principality of Barks. Where's... Uh, it's over this, this side anyway. Okay, yes, we're giving the Principality of Barks over here. We'll grant him those titles. And then there is my other son. We'll go ahead and grant him the titles in Thames. No, not Thames. Transylvania, no. Transylpath, yeah, good. You'll grant him those lands over that way. I want Baha and I want Pannonia. We do also have other lands around. In fact, this over here was made the capital. I don't want my capital to be over this way. No, I do not. Now you, can we grant you anything at all now? Faisograd, I can. Very good. We'll grant him that. The entire duchy. I'm sure he will uh, be happy over there. Not the most powerful land, but it will have to do. Then he himself does have a second son. Is there anything I can grant you at all? Temes. There's Temes and the other one. Is that all Transylvania? One, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four. In Temes. Okay, well, I might just give him all of Transylvania. Not all of it. Not all of it. Oh, that's my capital, which is why I can't give away that. Okay, well, let's move our capital to Arad. That seems like somewhere... Budapest is around here somewhere. We're going to move it to Arad. 
move realm capital here excellent so this realm this chiefdom is part of the visor guard so we're going to grant him what is rightfully his can't you who is very good and then if I give away the five titles of uh, Transylvania we should then be in the clear so you have your heir and then you have your second son or I could just give it straight to your son uh, grant titles Transylvania oh no there was actually six there wasn't there Transylvania as the capital of six all you have there I'll give him Transylvania not Hunyard you may not have Hunyard that's right on my border but you can have all of this land instead Excellent. Prince Lin Uikta has uh, come over. That's not what I called him, was it? Oh, that's my grandson. Never mind, I was speaking of my sons. Excellent. I'm sure I didn't call them those names. Oh, of course, I'm still not on them. Yes, Akus and Leverdi. These are the names I gave these boys. Excellent. So we now have all of our localized land here. Quite a big levy. And we, of course, still have our chaps. We're not going to gain too much prestige at the moment. We do have money though, so let's have a look at our capital and see what we can do about it. There is currently uh, a constructing... they're constructing a longhouse. Three years left, so I can't actually build anything else here yet. Later on, though, I'm sure I will. Pannonia has been formed. Let's have a look at the decisions. I can also change all of their contracts. I can create the Duchy of Bihar. I don't think I actually own any lands there. I'd rather just have all of these direct vassals directly. Uh, I'd just be losing one man. Empty council positions as well. Let's go ahead and give our spy master position to Kurd. He's the best man for the job. Prince is in there. You're in there. Let's have you do something soon. I would like you. Oh, I should have had you on manage domain first because I might actually get another position there. Chieftain, can we have you increase control of the county in our pad? Maybe it's already actually fully taken, yes. Control? No, free. Control 25. Well, I'm still happy to be getting some control somewhere. You there can promote culture. Now, what are the local cultures? More gear. Of course they are. We just settled the area. Increase development in country or have him increase tax. No, I would like you to develop the uh, stuff here around the castle. Please get to work. Also, can I have you switch over to there? Yes, very good. You are doing schemes. Thank you very much, Kurd. Marshall is the chief there. Excellent. Well, that all seems in order. Let's have you fabricate a claim somewhere, perhaps. Let us first, though, look at this man and see what we can do about him. Declare war. I will break the truce, but uh, invading his kin with 5,000 that I might be able to do. Also, a Grand Principality, is that not... Is this not enough to call me a king? Okay, well this man here is relatively weak. He has no allies, and he is an additional fellow we could take over. He is... Uh, a Catholic Croatian. If we declare war on him, we can invade his kingdom for a thousand. We can conquer his duchy. Or conquer his county. I'd rather conquer his duchy. I gain all territory within his realm, but we cannot do that unless my fame is at illustrious. My fame is currently at distinguished. It will soon be at illustrious. I could declare war for his county, however. We won't do that. Let's wait a little bit. We don't need much prestige, and we'll be able to go after these people in, in their entirety. Prisons can be ransomed. I will go ahead and do that. Money is always good. Uh, we can change Prince Arcus's contract. More money isn't too useful at the moment. More levies would be. We use a hook to do so. Very good. Another contract apparently can be done. That's okay. We'll eventually get the uh, stuff around here. A good deal. 10 gold. Well, thank you. And another 25. Thank you again. I can take a concubine. There is uh, Jagvida here. She is Slovenian scan. Uh, that's her religion. She is, however, herself Croatian. Let's go ahead and take her. Sure. I have another concubine, because why not? I'm sure she's happy to be out of jail. She just has to do some jobs for me. 
Terrific. What have we got here? Mercy for the mercenaries. The bustling of an inn. A fine cider, a calm evening after a long day of trading. My tank card is knocked out of my hand by a mercenary reeling from a blow. And all hope of relaxation drains away into the floor along with my cider. Please, my lord, the innkeeper begs. Zonznook's thugs have been drinking me dry without paying for days, and their fighting is scaring the staff and the guests. I'll pay for your drinks if you leave at once. I lose 75 gold, gain generosity to mercenaries, and gain 50 medal of martial lifestyle. Or we can throw them out of our soldiers. We gain a little bit of stress. Get rid of the bandits, gain martial points. It doesn't matter if it's stressful. Of course it's stressful to throw mercenaries out. Throw them out at once. We have unlocked a new perk, though. Very good. Stalwart Defender. Oh, we could just keep going down with Overseer. I would like more control in county, so I would like to get the uh, absolute control down there. That sounds like something that would help us. I could also raid. No, I don't want to raid. Excellent, Sar. Oldu is pregnant. Once we have our fame, we will try to create a grand king for ourselves around these areas. All of these fools must surrender there. And call to war. What is this? Poland is calling us to war against Frudoslav. Who is this Frudoslav man? Where are you the king of? Oh, that man over there. Okay, I accept. We could go off and deal with him. He's very weak, though. 400 odd, whereas Poland they have 1,600 odd. This is lesser Poland, not greater Poland, but lesser Poland is the best Poland. And they all do for an alliance. Let's see about our eventual heirs, though. That is you. You do not have a spouse. Could I try and find you one? No. Negotiate alliance. Someone from joining any. Uh, Thing there. We can allow him to marry himself. I would like to arrange him a marriage, but there isn't anyone around here. Oh, I haven't actually clicked on him yet. Well, never mind. I thought I might be able to just simply find him an heir. He's a strong lord over here in Transylvania. Lots and lots of land. Good for him. Hopefully soon we'll have our stuff. My daughter, I have had a child born. Saroldu has given birth to a perfect little girl. We'll name her Ota, of course. Ota is a fine name. Uh, we are at war still, but I will not raise my arms because I'm not needed over here. We'll leave him to it. I will uh, get rid of this, though. I can't because it's my only one. We'll instead, put a rally point down here for when we do want to go into his land. We'll go for this one now. By right, my wife has information, and inform me, I mean, of an obscure law in the chiefdom of Bihar. The states that none but the Grand Prince may be its protector. Normally such an archaic law will be dismissed, but it offers a unique chance to put High Chieftain Pabal in his place. He doesn't like me very much. The law is clear, the, brand, uh, the Grand Prince has full rights. I can now press claim on the Chieftain of Bihar. All the way over there. Well, I don't hold that. It would be nice to have that duchy later on. Oh, the law is clear. The law is definitely clear. Also, he is of a foreign region, does it say that? He's a Tengriism. I am of Taltoism. You there, convert. Command it at once. I wish only for your salvation, sir. Is there no revoke? No. Okay, well, let's have a look at the realm here. I cannot get anything there. Succession. Primogenitch is what I would like, but we can't change that for a very, very long time. Okay. Uh, that won't be happening for a very long time. Vassals, everyone's... One feudal vassal, Prince Akus of Barks. Good man. Everyone else, however, is tribal. No, stop being tribal, you. We'll try and get this through when we have it. First, though, let's try and become illustrious, shall we? We can unlock another lifestyle perk. Well, these are falling into our lap like nobody's business. 
for level plus one. I don't mind if I do. Do we have a building built over here in the capital? Yes. Yes, we do. We could increase the longhouse. Control growth will go up. I can't actually do it because we don't have the barracks discovered. What can I build? Palisades, fort level, garrison, levies, advantage to defenders, war camps, lots of levy. Number of knights plus one. Ah. Oh, so it costs me prestige to do. In that case, we won't do it. We'll simply do palisades for now. Wait, that still costs prestige as well. Huh. Yeah, let's not spend prestige for now. We're currently trying to save it up. Far from home, a stranger is bored before me. He has been waiting outside the castle gates for a week, my liege. My guards inform me. The man bows deeply. My name is Boreal, your highness. I have travelled far and wide and seen many things. But I am wary of the road. If you would allow me to stay, I would happily share my knowledge of the world with you and be your loyal subject. Uh, servant. He's blind. He's a theologian, he's blind, and he is a novice physician. I will not trust a blind physician. I've weighed the more the merrier. I gain a lot of opinion there. We cook. Becomes your courtier. Uh, converts to the religion. Okay, let's have him convert. Excellent. Uh, we should make him a knight. Let's force this man to be a knight, shall we? No, let's not bother. We could have a recruit this man. We do have a lot of money to ensure that we have the best knights available. Yes, Boril, he, he should be a knight. Just force this man onto the battlefield. Let's do it. Boril, the blind man, will be fighting on the front lines. I hope I hope he gets some kills, because we would, have, of course, be able to see his kills in the uh, list there. A demonstration of leadership. My son and heir, Prince Apart, has been hovering around my council meetings lately. Knowing his interest in matters of leadership, I cannot help but feel that the man is waiting for me to impress him. Let's discuss our uh, methods of communication, or we go greet some recruits. Of course, let's greet some recruits. That'll have a do for the second episode here. I hope you're enjoying the campaign. When you come back, uh, this is not progressing too fast, so I'm going to declare a war. I think if I declare a war on this man, defeat him real quickly. Then I might gain a fame level, and then we can take somewhere over entirely, like going to Croatia. And I want to see if the blind theologian can find his way through the battlefield. I'll see you guys next time. If you do want to support the channel, there is a sponsor to this campaign. You can go ahead and check out Pax Britannica in the links below. There are a narrative history podcast, and it is very good. I do highly recommend you check it out. Just click on the link down below and give it a little listen. If you don't enjoy it as well, it's a free product. It's no real pressure. I'll see you guys next time. Thank you again for watching. Goodbye.